Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and welcome to the channel. We're going to uh, replace the grill, or the insert anyway, here on the uh, Tacoma. And I need to take this grill off, of course, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, hopefully. Uh, I've never done it before. Watched a few videos. That should be enough. That should make me an expert. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to see how this goes. All right, according to everything that I've read, there are two screws, Phillips head screws, here and here, and then two little uh, plug-like thingamabobbers here and here. And that should be it, according to what I've read. So, we're going to take these screws out. And yes, we're doing this by hand, not with a tool and I, or a, like a drill, and I do that because I don't want to strip anything out, you know? So, we've got one screw. Let's put those up here. Bigger Phillips, I think. One there. Now that takes care of the two screws, supposedly. That's it. Now, we have these little plug-like things down here. You guys can see those, I'm not sure. Right here. Um, supposedly you can just wedge those out with a flathead screwdriver, so we're gonna try that. See if we can make that happen. too bad. Cut that out. Put the other one. It's around here on the other side. Move you guys up a little. Let's see a little bit anyway. Same thing on this side. You just kind of wedge it. the other one off as well. Set that aside. Now, supposedly, you can just pull this grill off. Now, I don't know if it's all that easy or not. We're going to see. Well, there it pulled free, and I want to make sure I can see everything under here. So we're going to take a look down there and make sure that what I think I'm doing, I'm doing. Everything looks okay there. Wish me luck. We're gonna we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully you don't hear anything crack or break or anything insane. Oh wow! <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you, it really is just that easy. Wow. No cracks or pops or anything else. So we've got it out. It's in my hands, obviously. So now we're going to set it up and take a look at the back as to how to remove the sensor. Alright, now that we've got it out, according to the videos I've watched, there is a ring that goes around the insert that you have to take off first. And to do that, there are screws that go around the inside here. You have to take those off and then pop off the ring and then pop out the insert. So now we're going to take off these screws. I'm not exactly sure how many, so we're going to see, actually, if I just look here, I can actually see where the screws are. So, hmm. okay. So it's all the screws that are closest to this center lip here or whatever. Those are what you need to take off. So we're going to, we're going to do that. There are eight. There were eight screws that I took out. So hopefully, um, that's all I need to take out. So now, 
supposedly, I say again, you're supposed to be able to pop out the uh, pins here in the divots that are in the grill, which uh, you can see they're recessed as opposed to the other ones. And uh, we should be able to get those out. So stay tuned. All right, now we're going to attempt to take this ring that's supposed to be around the grill off. So let's uh, give that a shot. Again, you're supposed to be able to pop these little, you guys can see that, these little clip things in here. They have a little pressure thing in them. You're supposed to be able to push that in and pop it down without breaking it, which I just did on the first one. So that one's broken. That's nice. Fortunately, I'm not reusing this, so I guess that won't be a problem. Let's see if we can do the next one a little gentler. got the ring off. So this is the ring and one of these, like I say, I broke. I actually broke the one on the drill part. But anyway, this is the uh, ring part. It's off. That's cool. So far it's going like it's supposed to. <laughs> Except for the breaking part. Didn't really mean to do that. Alright, now we need to take the insert out and be a little more careful there. This is the one where I've already broken one. Hopefully no more. So let's take a look. We are. All right, so we've got the uh, original off here. You guys can see, not too bad. Um, the clip that I broke. is right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this one broke. Very, very touchy. So be very careful if you plan to reuse this. <coughs> I think I broke two of them actually getting it off. Maybe not. Maybe only one. Yeah, it would appear only one. So that's good. This will make good uh, wall art, I guess. Yeah, I only broke the one. So that's not bad, it wouldn't be a big issue, but you know, you don't want to break anything. So that takes care of that. Now, we're going to put the uh, insert that I bought on, and of course we want to make sure that, uh, that we put this on the right way. It'll only go on one way, I think, but uh, it'd be a shame to put this thing on and have it upside down, you know what I mean? So let's turn this around. on there I think. Okay, so we should you guys in the frame here. Should be able to just put that thing in there and snap it in very carefully. So here again is our new grill. You guys can see. And we're gonna want to line these up. And it better fit, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Okay, it would appear that uh, everything is lined up, hopefully. So now all we should have to do is push these in, in theory. So let's, uh, let's see what happens. Sounded good. That didn't. That did. That's about it. Okay. Well, that went in way too easily. <laughs> so we're going to flip it over, take a look at the other side, make sure all of them are seated properly. If not, we'll, uh, we'll pull them in. So we're just going to go around and give a little tug on each one, gently.
Okay, everything uh, everything looks pretty good to me. That was pretty simple. It almost uh, it almost fell into place. It was that easy. So now I'm gonna line it back up here in a minute and uh, put it back on the truck and uh, be done. All right. Before we get started, I'm gonna show you the what's underneath the grill. I guess here got a couple of horns, radiator, another cooler. That's probably and you guys will know, transmission, oil cooler of some kind, I'm not sure, over here. Um, but there's what the front looks like without the grill on it. So now we're going to uh, grab the grill, and see if we can't get it on, so to speak, um, without breaking anything. Okay, we got the grill here. Hopefully, get everything lined back up the way it's supposed to be. Watch your way, man. Yeah, it looks right to me. That simple? Could it be? I don't know. Wow. That appears to be right to me. Uh, I want to take a quick look down below here and find my flashlight. Make sure that the pins are back in where they're supposed to be. Sure looked to me to me. If they weren't, I don't think it would uh, sit in there properly. So yeah, I think that's it. So now we just have to put the, the pins and screws back in. There's four total, and we're done. So let's do that, and we'll have a look here. Uh, let's see. We need our handy dandy Phillips. We use a different one. And we'll put everything back together. So I guess we'll start with the pens. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm going to give a little tug on the bottom just to make sure that nothing's not, nothing's loose, rather. Find a good place to do that. No, feels good. Perfect. So let's take a look. This is what it looks like. Turn you guys up a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to see there. So I think what I'll probably do is take you guys off the tripod here and, uh, and then we'll take a look at it uh, with the hood down and all that good stuff so stay tuned all right got you guys handheld now don't forget by the way to remove your tools get that stuff out from underneath we'll uh, get our light out of here that's kind of important put this thing away and we'll shut the hood we'll shut the hood and take a look I'll set you guys down for a minute for that little exercise. Okay. That is it. That is the finished product. Let's uh, take a better look now. It's kind of hard to see. It's not real bright in here. Um, but that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good, matches the rest of the black uh, surround and the bezels and stuff around the fog lights and little trim work around the front. We'll uh, take it outside here and uh, get a few pictures of it in some brighter light, hopefully if it's not raining. But uh, that install was pretty simple, you know, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd probably give that about a 3, 10 being the hardest. Um, maybe even a two. It really wasn't too bad. Just take your time. Uh, again, if you're going to reuse the uh, original grill or insert, 
be careful, those things break very easily. I put very little pressure on the one that I did break and it was it snapped. Now maybe it was already broken, I don't know. But uh, they're not very sturdy. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Uh, pretty easy install. I'd recommend it if you want to get rid of the Chrome. Um, as usual, please uh, click subscribe if you haven't before. And we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.